Hey everyone! So welcome to this month's favorites and fails video. I've been really waiting to do this video for you guys because I have so many products that I've tried out this month that I've ended up really loving. Well really over the last month and a half, you know how favorites videos go. You don't really want to include a favorite if you just started using it like a week ago. So a lot of these favorites I've been using since like the end of April. So I'm very, very excited to show you guys. I have a lot of them. I'm not even going to lie. There are a lot of products here. So make sure you sit yourself down. I only have two fails though, which I'm very, very happy about. So let's just move into the products because there is a decent amount. Okay, so the first thing I have here is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This is the most beautiful coral pink color. Um, I just couldn't imagine a more beautiful summer blush color there. It is, I don't know if you guys can even, can even see that swatch, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. I just love this blush. It's a great drugstore buy. If you're looking for like that MAC quality, um, this is about eight or nine dollars Canadian at the drugstore. Um, and I just think these are 100% worth it. I don't know of any of the other colors because I haven't tried them because I've heard bad things about them. <laughs> Not that they're bad, but bad for my skin tone things about them. I've heard that all the rest of the Blake blushes are amazing, but they're just not amazing for people with fair skin. A lot of them I've heard are great for darker skin tones and that kind of thing. So I've kind of steered clear of them, but I definitely want to try more since I've dug this out of my collection. The next product I have here, which you guys might have seen in a drugstore haul that I didn't upload until recently, but that video, if you guys I don't, I don't think I mentioned it in the video, but that video was actually filmed the last week of April. <laughs> so everything in that video I've had to try for a long time now. And the first thing I have here is the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro Mascara. I didn't know if I'd like this. It had been a long time since I'd bought a drugstore mascara, um, and I just really ended up enjoying this. The shape of the brush is just so different, and I just thought it was... An amazing mascara it's really done a lot for my poor lashes uh, since that uh, since I've been pregnant a lot of you guys know my lashes took a real beating while I was pregnant and this has really kind of helped make them look not as bad so <laughs> yeah definitely been loving this the next thing I've been loving um, isn't really a particular color but it's a line that I've been really loving and this is the Sally Hansen miracle gel nail polishes the two I just have here are electric pop which I've worn in a lot of recent videos. Of course, on the day I'm talking about nail polish, I don't have any on. Um, and then the other one I have here is Game of Chromes. Um, and not have on, but have here. Um, I have a few different colors of these because Shoppers is now doing this thing where like every week they put like a different color of this type of nail polish on sale for $3. So I've been picking them up and I just love this formula. It's used with a specialized top coat and it gives you a lot longer wear out of your nails. Most of the time when I'm applying a nail polish like this, I get at least three to four days. They say that you're going to get two weeks on the commercial. That is BS. <laughs> but um, I normally get about a day out of my nail polish. So three or four days is pretty good for me. And they have such a nice color selection. Your nails feel really nice and look really nice and shiny. I just really love these. They are a little bit more expensive than regular polishes, but to me they're 100% worth it if they're going to last a lot longer. And it's really been motivating me to paint my nails because before I'd be like why the hell am I paint my nails? It's gonna last like 24 hours if that and then with these it's like, okay Well, they're gonna last a little longer. So why not kind of thing? We're gonna move into like general beauty So skincare hair care that kind of thing the next thing I have here Which I'm super excited to tell you guys about is the simple moisturizing facial wash and this is such an amazing facial cleanser. Honestly, I believe this is a dupe for the Clinique Gentle Skin Cleanser because I used that for I think three or four years. And this stuff, it smells the same, foams up the same, leaves my skin the same amount of clean. I have no idea how they do it, but this is the, like, it's pretty much the exact same face wash. If you put this in a Clinique bottle, I believe it was the Clinique one. So if you're in love with the Clinique Gentle Cleanser, definitely go pick this up because I believe it's the same formula, honestly. Smells the same, foams up the same, has the same texture, has the same texture foamy, <laughs> applies the same, takes the same amount of off your skin. It just makes your face feel very, very similarly. So if you're looking for a nice cleanser and you have sensitive skin, dry skin, really would recommend this because this is an amazing drugstore buy. The next skincare favorite I have here is the Avon Elements Skin Revitalize Night Radiance Cream. It has a bit of a long title there, but it just has this amazing texture to it and I don't even know how they do it, but it's how, it's like thicker. Sorry, I'm trying to get a hair off of it. Um, it's thicker in texture, but it almost feels like an overnight mask when you put it on because it's very gel-like. 
um, and it leaves your skin very, very bright and very awake, uh, but it gives your skin like a matte feel so your face isn't sticky all night, which I really hate about overnight masks. And this also still seems to hydrate your skin even though it has a matte finish. I don't know if this is magic or what, but I've been loving this, not just for a day, but at night. It hasn't broke up my skin at all and it's really worked well in my upcoming wedding bridal skincare. It's been uh, definitely a favorite. The next thing I have here is my only hair care item of the month, but it's been a big one. And that is the Weightless Hydration Coconut Water Weightless Hydration Oil from Organics or OGX. I think they changed their name. Not sure. But this stuff is just amazing. It's uh, the best, like it's almost, it has the texture of a dry oil. If you've ever used one of those on your body. But it just smells great. It smells very tropically. But I don't know, there's just something about this that's made my hair so much more manageable this month. It doesn't feel as gross and hard to brush out. It's just transformed my hair. And this is the only thing I've changed, so I know it's been this. And it's just, it's amazing. I can't believe the transformation my hair has gone through because of this stuff. So I would 110% recommend, once again, drugstore product. So can't get any better than that. Great price, great formula, does amazing things to your hair. And if you guys don't know me, I've had the worst texture of hair my entire life. So something that improves that to the point where I don't feel like I need to brush out my hair two to three times a day is amazing. The next thing I have here is something that I don't really talk a lot about on my channel because I'm not really that into it normally. But now with my upcoming wedding, this is something that I've been using for teeth whitening. This is the Colgate Optic um, Teeth Whitening brush plus gel pen um, and I've just been loving this um, not only does the brush seem to clean your teeth really well which you know it's a standard toothbrush has a tongue scrubber and stuff but the gel is really where I've been getting um, you put this on your teeth you put one click per so two clicks per each top or bottom and you just put that on there at night and morning and it just has really shown a difference in my teeth. I feel like I don't know if it, you can see as much on camera. I find in some lighting you can, some lighting you can't, but I think it's just made the biggest difference to the color of my teeth already. It usually takes about six to eight weeks to see any type of difference with something like this, but I've found that I've seen a difference and I've only used it for about three weeks. So I can't wait to see what it looks like in six weeks or eight weeks because I'm getting married now in 55 days as of today. It will be 54 days as of tomorrow when this goes up and it's just it's incredible the change that I've seen to my teeth and I just can't wait to see how much brighter and whiter they are by the wedding day. The last favorite I have here today is a little random but it is the e.l.f. Studio blush brush. Now I have to say this is the first new blush brush I've gotten in six years. It has been a long time since I've bought myself a blush brush but I just love how this one applies my blush. I just think that it applies so nicely, it disperses it so beautifully, it's so incredibly soft and the fact that it's four dollars just chuck that in there. Um, I just I love it. I love how it feels on my face, I love how it applies things. I just I love it and I feel like it was a really nice treat to myself after not having a new blush brush in six years. So let's move into the fails. This is never my favorite part of the video but I just really feel like it's an important part of the video because then you guys get to see what products I'm loving and which ones just have utterly failed on me. So let's just jump right into it. The first product I have here is the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Mist Pro Perfect Salon Airbrush BS whatever. Um, so I got this because it was on sale at Shoppers one day and I heard a girl from the UK recommending it so I was like oh I might as well pick it up because it's on sale. This was the most horrible tanning experience I've ever had in my life. Okay, fair enough, I have not used that many self tanners. I used Jergens Natural Glow in middle school, then I switched to uh, Saint Tropez for like three years, and then I had a couple spray tans. So it's not like I've had a huge knowledge in self tanners, but compared to the ones that I have used, this is absolutely horrible. It not only, like it applies clear, I can't even put on any on my skin because I'm still recovering from how horrible this was, guys. So uh, it applies clear, so you can't see how much you're putting on. Um, so I applied it evenly all over my body. I shaved beforehand, I scrubbed, I moisturized, did everything that you'd normally do before applying self-tanner. So I sprayed it as evenly as I could, followed on the directions, wore loose clothing, waited for it to dry. The next morning I wake up and I have these huge orange patches randomly throughout my skin. So it's not even like it's all orange, it's just like randomly the side of my hand was orange. And I can even see like a little orange, it was like dark brownish orange. Bottoms of my feet, bright orange. No idea how that happened because I obviously didn't spray any on the bottom of my feet. But I have no idea, um, I, the, my arms were just like 
carrot orange um, parts of my thighs were still white like it was just so uneven so blotchy so gross looking and so freaking orange like I literally looked the color of this bottle and I can't even like that is not even an exaggeration. This is like actual fact. I looked the color of this bottle. I went out that night and I got so many stares from everybody. Why? Because I was the color of this bottle. Um, it took days to wash off. This is about a week from using this and I still look like a little, I'm still recovering from it. Like you can still see in certain parts of my body that I'm still looking a little orange, that I'm still having like some brown patches. You can kind of see that fading there. Um, it's just, it's not, you can see the one from over here that was dark, dark brown. It's just horrible. I would never recommend this to anyone in my life, especially if you're just starting out self-tanning. Mm, don't even waste your money. Stay pale for this price, for this crap. Don't even waste your money. Because this was so horrible that I can't even understand how anyone in their lives would like this. Maybe if you're dark already and you just wanted a little bit of orangeness to your skin, which I don't understand why you'd want that to begin with. But I, I don't know how someone from the U maybe they have a different formulation in the UK, I have no idea. But this I would definitely not recommend if my life depended on it. Now the next thing, I hate to bash because I support the idea of it so, so much. And I, when I tell you guys about it, you guys will understand my struggle here. But I'm just gonna come out and say it. it has been natural deodorant. I am such a natural junkie. I'm a crunchy mom. I love to do everything as naturally as possible. Well, except my makeup because I just couldn't deal with that because I've been such a makeup junkie for so many years. But moving on. Um, I tried to do natural deodorant and the first one, the Tom's one, I tried. I've tried three different ones. I have two here to show you because the other one I just chucked in the garbage. I have the Tom's of Maine long lasting and I have the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant which I've heard the most about. This was like the most raved about one ever. Even like not crunchy moms um, or non-natural moms have all, st I've still heard rave about this. So I knew that this, uh, well I figured this one was going to be good. So first off with the Tom's, this held and I'm not even a sticky person but this held away stink for approximately an hour I don't smell bad normally like if I put on deodorant in the morning I could probably get away from going until the next afternoon before I start to smell any bit at all like I'm just not a generally sweaty nasty smelling person so I don't have to worry about that so I didn't figure that this would be a big deal but this lasted about an hour and I started smelling so I was like what the heck next three days into using this I got big red rashes on my armpits which has never I've never experienced before in my life I even I've tried pretty much every brand of like aluminum based deodorant on the market um, like I was that girl who always bought a different deodorant whatever one was on sale at shoppers that week in middle school and I never had any like the Thing like this happened to me in my life so I was like what the heck I bought paid extra for natural ingredients and I'm getting like red rashes it's not working what the heck so I stopped using this so I order another one I think it's from Jason um, have the same reaction that one was a little bit more not as expensive as this one but a little bit more so I fired okay let's just go all in let's pay the $15 and get a deodorant which I never in my life thought I'd be someone who paid $15 for a deodorant because I was used to spending like three to four at the drugstore and I was like are you on crack I did not want to have to go out and splurge on this but in the end I was like you know what I'm really committed to using a natural no aluminum based deodorant and this one held the stink away a little longer, maybe like two to three hours. Definitely not as long as the aluminum based. Definitely wasn't lasting me the whole day, which I couldn't believe because I'd never had this problem before in my entire life. Um, even when I was like really into working out, doing the tone it up stuff, still never had that issue. So I don't, I don't know what the heck. I don't know if my body chemistry has changed since I've had a baby, but even with the, now that I'm back on the aluminum based deodorants, not having that issue anymore still lasting that day and a half without needing to put on deodorant most, most of the time I do put on deodorant within a day and a half just so you know but um, if I really stretch it out and forget about it because you know I am a mom um, then it's fine and I just I don't understand why these natural deodorants aren't doing it I just don't get it um, and then secondly still kept on with the red rashes I don't know what the heck um, I've never been allergic to anything in my life never had any issues with any aluminum based deodorants regardless of brand so I don't know why the heck these expensive natural ingredient deodorants are giving me such an issue so basically it, at the end of the day after trying to make this work for about two weeks I just it came down to okay my wedding is in two months 
I need to not have red armpits. I need to not stink. So I ended up having to give in and go back to the aluminum, which pained me beyond belief to say, because I wanted to love these so badly. But at the end of the day, I just can't deal with bright red armpits on my wedding day. I can't deal with it. I'm wearing a strapless dress. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. So if you guys have any recommendations, if you guys have had a similar problem with natural deodorants, let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you guys have had a similar problem and have a deodorant solution, definitely comment that down in the comments below. Give me some of that. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments below because this is a super disappointing thing for me. I do not want aluminum in anything that I'm using. So definitely leave me a comment down in the comments below and let me know um, about your suggestions to solve this problem. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy favorites and maybe fail videos. I don't know if anyone out there actually loves fa fail videos, but if you do, Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you guys have a solution to the, my deodorant problem or if you have any suggestions for products that you'd like to see reviews on, you'd like to see in my monthly favorites, you'd like me to go pick up so they can end up being a favorite, whatever the process ends up being. Make sure to leave the comment down below. Make sure to subscribe for my future videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.